Ronaldo to Man UTD, choice of the heart. Returning to the old roof of Man UTD is a somewhat easy decision for Cristiano Ronaldo, after speculations about PSG, Man City, or Real Madrid this summer. During the process from the moment Ronaldo spoke to leave Juventus, approached Man City, and then suddenly closed the deal at Man UTD, coach Max Allegri almost did not speak. A few days before the first home match of the season against Impoli on the evening of August 28, the Italian military leader was informed that the player that Juventus worked so hard to build a system around would no longer be attached to the team. No arguments, no objections, or opinions. A simple decision had been made, and Allegri was mostly acting as an observer. So is Juventus. Ronaldo no longer intends to dedicate himself to them. He asked to leave, and everything happened quickly, in a few dozen hours. However, Ronaldo's departure from Turin probably did not shock Allegri. Right in the opening match of the new season last week, Ronaldo expressed his desire to sit on the bench. An injury can cause the owner of the five golden balls to miss the opportunity to leave in the final stages of the summer transfer window. After three years at the Juventus Arena, Ronaldo is content to be sidelined. Aside from that, there's nothing else. Allegri simply satisfied the intentions of Ronaldo, who was 36 years old. He accepted to fulfill the terms signed with a great club like Juventus. Allegri does not criticize Ronaldo for his lack of loyalty or professionalism something the Portuguese superstar has always demonstrated and committed to everywhere he has played. He also does not condemn Ronaldon. Nobody at Juventus did that. From top to bottom, both the coach and the team leader simply complied with the wishes of the most expensive player in history old lady. Things have changed. It's the law of life. Allegri said briefly at a news conference Friday morning, August 27, the day before the second round of Serie 8. Hours later, reporters caught Ronaldo boarding a private jet at the airport in Turin. By then, Ronaldo knew for sure what would happen next, but it was a secret from the rest of the world. The final destination of the Portugal captain will be Man UTD, which he once called home. It is also the club where he asserts himself as one of the greatest players, not only in this generation but also in the history of football. How easy it is for Juventus to recruit Ronaldo in 2018. Man UTD has a similar position in the story at the end of August 2021. From the time the rumors appeared in the newspaper, until the Red Devils homepage confirmed Ronaldo's return, almost no money was mentioned. Everywhere, Man UTD fans focus only on romance, love, memory, and friendship. It was something that Man UTD members could not have expected late on Thursday, when the prospect of Ronaldo signing for arch-rival Man City was rumored and became increasingly clear. It was Ronaldo who said he would never come to the Etihad Stadium. If you talk about money, I will go to Qatar, he said in 2015. However, Ronaldo's agent, Jorge Mendez seems to have discussed and negotiated with the Man City leadership about money. In addition to what Man City pays to the client, a factor that is overlooked in the current situation, Mendez also mentioned the number that Juventus can enjoy for the remaining year of the contract. 
And when you know for sure, it is a difficult problem, because Man City only wants Ronaldo on a free basis, Mendes leaves it, and that is enough for Man UTD to take action. A number of Ronaldo's teammates at Old Trafford, including Rio Ferdinand and Patrice Evra, were in constant contact with Juventus No. 7 to discourage a move to Man City. Wayne Rooney even spread the message openly in the media. There were also private solicitations from Bruno Fernandes, Ronaldo's junior in the Portugal team, from coach Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and most importantly, from Alex Ferguson. Ronaldo always insists that he owes the Scottish teacher everything. In this transfer deal, he more or less paid that debt to the former Man UTD coach. By Friday morning, August 27, Ronaldo was convinced. The striker sent Evra a message confirming that he would be wearing the shirt again for our team. Along with the close relationship between Man UTD Vice President, Ed Woodward, and Mendez agent, the development was accelerated with amazing speed. The final knot lies with the owner of Man UTD, the Glazer family. American owners gave the green light to pay the transfer fee for Juventus, which ranges from 31 million to 38 million US dollars, depending on Ronaldo's achievements, performance, and ability to contribute in the next two years. The fierceness of the Red Devils made Man City falter. Man UTD fans have been waiting for more than 10 years to see Ronaldo in red again. Finally, the blockbuster was successfully activated. All of these episodes are a fascinating story, but not the whole story. None of it, from the smooth negotiations or the messages from Rio Ferdinand, compares to the clear and simple fact Juventus needs Ronaldo to go. Three years ago, when the richest team in Serie A spent $116 million in transfer money, along with a pre-tax salary of $80 million a season for four years to bring Ronaldo back from Real, the superstar born in 1985 was expected to bring countless values to old lady. In addition to being the number one striker in Champions League history, the Juventus arena has not been crowned since 1996. The former Man UTD player also brings huge commercial benefits from the global coverage and CR7 brand. After the first season was fine, expectations about Ronaldo were shaken from the second season, with the great contribution of COVID-19. Like most clubs across Europe, Juventus has spent most of the past year and a half to balance revenue and expenditure, and set up many scenarios to make up for the hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue that were blown away in the past year. Pandemic Storm After three seasons, with 134 appearances in all competitions, Ronaldo scored 101 goals, a record for Juventus. In terms of sports, it is clear that the 36-year-old striker is important to Juventus. From an economic point of view, he was even more necessary. Although Juventus has never reached the semi-finals of the Champions League during Ronaldo's possession, and lost his Scudetto for the first time in a decade, hundreds of millions of Ronaldo's followers on social media still help the Italian team expand its brand. Giorgia Ricci, Juventus head of revenue control, told the Times earlier this year that the link to the Ronaldo brand was so strong that it was hard to discern that Juventus' spike in revenue before COVID-19 was thanks to the team that dominates Serie A or simply because of Ronaldo in the squad. However, during the austerity period, the salary of the number one Juventus player became a barrier. 
not having serious financial difficulties like Barca, but Old Lady is almost impossible to restructure the squad in the 2021-2022 season, as long as Ronaldo is still in the team. For most of this summer, Ronaldo's ability to lead Juventus is unlikely. Only three or four teams can reach Ronaldo's desired salary. More importantly, no club seems particularly interested in this golden egg. During preseason preparations, Ronaldo posted hidden messages on Instagram. It was just enough to create confidence for Juventus, but it also did not deny the departure. Everything turned around when Lionel Messi came to PSG on a free basis. Real saw the opportunity and pursued Kylian back closely, and opened the possibility of Ronaldo coming to Paris. In that arms race, Man City was in a hesitant position. They flirted with Messi last summer, but were unable to do so this season, after investing $139 million, a record player purchase in the Premier League, in the piece of Jack Grealish in the now. 10 position. Man City's job in August is to bring in a striker. They chose to pursue Harry Kane, but made no progress against Tottenham's toughness. Immediately, Ronaldo became an idea for Pep Guardiola's squad upgrade. As of August 26, the summer transfer window 2021 is only five days away from closing. Mendes cannot sit still, but two potential landings for Ronaldo are not moving. PSG bet on a year at the end of Mbappé's contract and have not yet entered the water with Real. Man City, with the bottomless pockets of Arab owners, refused to pay a transfer fee for one of the greatest players of all time. Man UTD, as is known, entered the last but easily won a nod from Ronaldo. The return of the legendary number 7 at Old Trafford is described as the desire to bring back the former Red Devil, or the nostalgia of a 12-year-old player. But, the fact that Ronaldo now does not bring balance to Salsk Jair's squad. Man UTD has passed the period of languishing in search of a striker who can score 20 goals per season because of the excellence of Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba. The most expensive player in Juventus history is also not impressed with his ability to press or participate in the team's overall play. Instead, Ronaldo is like a heavy hit on the commercial, financial and marketing of Man UTD. Last season's Premier League runner-up gained more than a million followers on Instagram, just hours after announcing the contract with Ronaldo. Besides, Ronaldo's return helps Man UTD partly restore prestige on the transfer floor, and at the same time, embodies the hope that Man UTD will return to the way it was. There is a feeling that Ronaldo comes to Man UTD with his heart, not with his mind. Over the past 10 years, Ronaldo and Messi have raised themselves up, becoming a different part from the rest of the football world. Looking around Europe now, only two Manchester clubs, PSG, Chelsea, and Real, are financially able to own and use the soft values that the superstar duo brings. For the rest, Ronaldo and Messi are like luxury goods, something people often find ways to sell in difficult times because of COVID-19. As Ronaldo's first and last coach at Juventus, Allegri clearly recognizes the change of the club over the past three years, especially when it has lost its potential to requisition good players. Having good players is important, 
it is also a guarantee of competing for titles. This world has been fortunate to produce two stars, so bright that almost everyone is blind. But that world has changed. Our choice is whether we want to continue to be blind, he said on August 27th.